Today we are going to talk about those who have said in their heart there is no God. The book of Garantia chapter 6 verse 7 is a typical example of today's topic. God is not mocked. Do not be deceived. And whatever a man sow, that he shall reap. We are going to use Brazil as a case study. There is something that happens when a generation forgets the history of their foundation or the history of their life. They were bound to make the mistake of their past generation. That is why history is important in the life of every child so that you learn from that history so that you will not repeat the mistake of your past generation. Before now, there was a contestant, a political contestant for presidential seat in, 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 the, in the land of Brazil by the name Tencredo Neves. He said in his heart, like a man says in his heart, there is no God. He says in his, he said to his people that if he can get about 500,000 votes, not even God will stop him from becoming the president of America, of Brazil. Yes, he got the vote, but a day to be sworn in as the president of Brazil, he died a miserable death. Yes, he died. The person that built Titanic, he said even God cannot destroy Titanic. You know the story of Titanic. There was a man called John Lennon. In 1966, he said that Beetle, you know Beetle, their small car with big back. A beetle is even more popular than Jesus. So that he doesn't have to argue about it. That very soon, the story about Jesus will be swept under the carpet. Today, Jesus is the most popular person in the whole world. You cannot mock God. This same man was shot six good times. There are on and on of people who have, you know, thought in their heart that they have arrived. And God has shown them that I own the bread you breathe. That goes to Brazil again. How little our mind is to forget the history of what happened to Tegredo Neves. Brazil displayed the disgusting drama of insulting God among everything in the whole world. They choose their maker, the God of heaven, to mock him, to insult him, to humiliate him, to belittle God, which they cannot dare to to, to Muhammad, which they cannot dare to the God of Hindu, but the makers of the whole universe. The more God on the stage, they drag Jesus and say, if you say you are the God of the whole world, you say you are the, the, the king of the king, today we have defeated you. And the seven days, seven is the number of complexion. Seven days after that mockery on the stage and display for the world to see what happened. Even though that God has promised that he will no longer use rain to destroy the earth. Brazil paid huge price. The anger of the Lord visited them. We are equal in fellowship, but we are not equal in anointing. That is why never you join people to commit sin. Never you join people to live your life anyhow. Because you don't know the altar that are speaking for them. Remember Jacob. Jacob lied and took what belongs to Esau. And the mother told him to run to his people, her people, Laban, his uncle, to stay with him. On his way, he was tired, he lay down, he was resting, and the God opened his eyes. He began to see the angel of the Lord encamping around, moving up and down, keeping him company, protecting him. But let me tell you, it is not because of Jacob that he was receiving that kind of treatment. It was as a result of the altar that was speaking for Jacob, which is the altar of Abraham and Isaac, his father. American Hollywood displayed their disgusted uh, play during their award or whatever they call it, that the whole America, like, went on flame. People were just, like, so angry. But let me tell you something. The foundation of America, the author that are speaking for America, I can't say there is another country in the whole world that have the same righteous foundational author like America. The founding fathers of America rooted America in godliness, rooted America in the righteousness of God. The altar of America is rooted in the Lord. And that is why when you see a lot of things that they are merchandising today, 
that God is overlooking America doesn't mean that the anger of the Lord is not coming to America. You'll be thinking that, okay, if America can get away with it, what about us? They rooted America. They saved killing of twins. They saved slavery. They did all manner of good things. They spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that is counting for American people. Never you join anybody to do anything. Look at Jacob. Look at American people. Because you don't know the author that is backing the person you are joining to do whatever. Do you see that a stray bullet go inside a house and kill somebody? But people go to war front and come back, nothing, no scratch. Because there is an altar back in them. You don't know how prayerful the mother or the father is. You don't know the foundation of that family that you try to join them. You try to do what they are doing. Be careful what you entangle yourself because you think we are age mates. You think we are classmates. We think we are business partners. We are equal in fellowship, but we are not equal in anointing. The anger of the Lord is coming to America. For the way they have been disrespecting God, mocking God, and mocking the make what God have created, which is the creation. God is not mocked. And God can never be mocked. Repent from your evil doings. Because the anger of the Lord has been kindled against humanity. Prepare your home. Prepare your life. Prepare your family. The time is now. Brazil, a case study. Thank you for watching. If the video interests you, please share.